All right, so there are a different variety of open source AI models out there. Now, as these AI models are open source, you can literally go ahead and download and start using it locally within your machine. But how do you install it? How do you find all of these open source models and how do you set up locally on your machine? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Now, without wasting any more time, let's jump straight in. All right, so before jumping in and showing you the actual process of installing these models, let me quickly take you through huggingface.co. So the first thing that you're gonna do is to head over to huggingface.co and this is a platform where you'll be able to find details about a ton of different open source AI models. So up to the top, you can find an option that says models. And if you click on this one, you will be able to find a bunch of these AI models. And now all of these AI models that you see on the screen right now, are 100% open source and you can go ahead and download and start using it as well. For example, we have this DeepSeek R1, we have DeepSeek V3, a couple of them from Mistral, Tencent, Quen, yeah, and we even have Llama and all that models, right? And all of these are open source models, meaning that you can download and start using it on your computer for free. And for example, let me quickly open DeepSeek R1 and now here you will be able to find every details about DeepSeek R1 model and now you can go ahead and search for any specific you know model let's say I want to find a model from Llama so here this one Meta Llama uh, 3.37 dB Instruct so this model and so far people have downloaded it more than 600,000 times this month or the last month and you can find a lot of details in here and now I, I just introduced hugging face so that you can find or maybe explore all the open source models out there and it is going to be like an easy way for you to find all these models and now this is just a platform to find all of these models and now comes the actual step of installing the same so the second thing that you gotta do is to head over to lmstudio.ai and now this one right here is a software that you can install on a computer and lets you download and run any LLMs like open source AI models within a click. And now LM Studio is available for Mac, Windows and Linux. So the first thing that you're gonna do is to head over to this website and download and install LM Studio on a computer. And now that I have a Mac, I'll go ahead and click on this download button, download the installer and install it on my computer. Now if you have a Windows or a Linux machine, you can go ahead and follow the exact same step and download and install the same on a computer. And now this right here is LM Studio. So I went ahead, downloaded and installed the same on my computer and it is up and running. And if you click on this magnifying glass icon or the discover option towards the left, side a pop-up will appear and this is the place where you can go ahead and search and find pretty much any LLM or open source models that you want to use for example let's say you want to install DeepSeek R1 you can go ahead and search for DeepSeek R1 and you'll be able to find all these models that you could download and use and by the way I've already created a video explaining how you can run DeepSeek R1 locally on your computer and if you want to watch that video make sure to click the i button above or I will leave links to that video in the description below and now in a similar fashion you can go ahead and search for pretty much any models and start using it for example we have this is deep seek r1 models 5 4 then we have llama 3.370 b instruct then we have quen 2.5 quarter then we have llama 3.1 b we have a lot of these models right so Gemma, mistral nemo yeah all of these are models and now let's say you want to install a very specific model you can go ahead and search for it let's say i want to run a download a llama model i can go ahead and search for llama and now one more interesting bit is that you can also find all these models that people have shared on hugging face right within lm studio so if you find this uh, hugging face icon towards the name of the model it means it is one that is shared on the hugging face community for example let me click on this one that is llama 3.8b lexi uncensored and you can go ahead and download it but as you can see it says likely too large for this machine that means this model is going to be a bit more resource intensive and my computer does not have the resource to run the, this one right here okay and now if you open the page of any models out here you will be able to find whether the model is compatible with your computer or not for example let me go ahead and okay all these models is compatible with my computer and maybe I can go ahead and open a different one this is also compatible and if you find a model that is not compatible you will find this tag saying likely too large for this machine now the first thing that you're gonna do is to find the exact model that you want to run in this case let's say this one right here Llama 3.37 dB Instruct and next thing that you gotta do is to click on this download option right here before that make sure that is you know the model is compatible with your laptop or the system configuration that you have and if that's the case you can click on this download option and it will start downloading the model to your computer now depending on the size of the model and the internet speed it will take some time so you gotta wait till it is done and in this case this model is around 37.14 GB and sim in a similar fashion, you can go ahead and download any models. And this one right here is DeepSeek R1 distilled version. And that is using Llama 8B. And as you can see, this model is 4.32 GB. 
And now once you download an AI model, when you click on this one, you will find a new option that says use in new chat. The best part about LM Studio is that you'll be able to run the model and also use it within LM Studio. So you don't have to go ahead and install any other dependencies or use even use open web UI. You don't have to do anything of that sort. All you got to do is to click on use in new chat option and it is currently loading the LM Studio community deep seek R1 distilled version. And as you can see, the model is now mounted and I can go ahead and start using it. For example, I could go ahead and send a message that says hi, click on send. And now I'm talking with DeepSeek R1 model, right? So it says, how can I assist you today? And as far as the speed is concerned, it is returning around 8.03 tokens per second, which is actually really great considering I'm running this model locally on my machine. I can go ahead and ask any question. Let's say, uh, which company makes iPhone? Hit enter. And now the particular model that we are using, that is the DeepSeek R1 is a reasoning model. So you will be able to find the chain of thought process or the thinking process uh, in the thought section right here. If it is another model, you won't really find this option. But as you can see, the AI is literally thinking about the question that we asked and it will go ahead and give the answer. So let's wait for it to load the answer. All right. So after the thinking process is done, now the AI is writing the answer. So yeah, that's how you do it. And now let's say you have installed a different AI model. And if you want to use that, first of all, you can go ahead and eject this one right here. So I just went ahead and ejected the same. And if you click on this uh, drop down menu right here, you'll be able to find all the, I mean, the list of all models that you have downloaded on a computer. Now, in this case, I've already downloaded DeepSeek R1. But if you have, let's say, another AI model like uh, from Mistral or Grok or any other installed, you can go ahead and select it from here and click on the load model option and you will be able to run it locally on your machine. And if you want to, you can also go ahead and change all these parameters and configurations tailored to your computer or your specific use case and you can go ahead and start using it. All right. And the best part I found about LM Studio is that you'll be able to find almost all models that is available within hugging space so that's like you can go ahead and find all these models from hugging face and come to lm studio search for it and install and run it locally so that's how simple it is so you don't have to go ahead and write a code or do a whole bunch of system configuration just as to run a ai model softwares like lm studio and olama makes it extremely simple for us to run AI models locally on our computer and that's pretty much all i wanted to show in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one